are you ready to watch the Star Wars show? Because I definitely am. I'm just going to be reacting to whatever great news and interviews they have for us this week. And I can't wait to see what's in store. But before we get into the video, um, I would like to ask you to please, please, please subscribe to the Young Links podcast. It means so much to me. I put a lot of work and effort into this channel. And I'd love for you to come along on this journey with us. Also, I will be giving a Twitter shout out to somebody who retweets this video every single Star Wars show reaction. So if you want a chance to get a shout out, all you have to do is retweet it and follow us, of course, at Younglings TV. So I'm just gonna turn on the Star Wars show. This week we're talking to Paul Shear and learning all about Kowaki and monkey lizards. Yes, I love Kowaki and monkey this lizards. This is the Star Wars show from the Lucasfilm headquarters in San Francisco. Here's your host, Andy Andy. <laughs> Star Wars show, the only Star Wars show whose host was so excited about a story we're talking about in a minute that he had to run outside and scream about it. It's Anthony. He gets high and <laughs> excited about the most random things. Anyway, he'll be back as soon as this transition ends like nothing ever happened. Movie magic, kids. Let's go to the news. That's funny. New York Toy Fair kicks off later this year. <laughs> Hasbro's already revealing new figures for their Galaxy of Adventures line. New figures for Wave 2 include Boba <gasps> Fett, Ray, Young, I Ryu, want Kyle them! Man, Darth Maul, and General Green. Did they say it's Each by Hasbro? Each packed with a brand new mini comic and a code that can unlock more stories. I want it! <gasps> it's like the Star original Wars. trilogy comics. Comics. an exclusive comics. excerpt from Claudia Gray's upcoming novel, Master yes. and Apprentice. The book coming this April follows a young Obi-Wan and his master Qui-Gon Jinn. Oh, that will be Before interesting. Before the events of the Phantom Menace as they oh, navigate wow. a dangerous new planet and uncertain future. You can read the excerpt for yourself and for more breaking news from around the galaxy at StarWars.com slash SWS. When you think of Star Wars, you undoubtedly think of one thing, romance. And what better way to celebrate the one you love on Valentine's Day than with the most romantic <laughs> couple in all the galaxy, Anakin and Padme. <laughs> Our show proudly presents Anakin and Padme's greatest <laughs> four CD collection of romantic dialogue of all time. From their first meeting on Tatooine to their final words on Mustafar, you get all the sweet nothings your heart can handle. It's like, are you an angel? Oh, lady, I'm haunted by the kiss. The boo baby. And who could forget the classic? I don't like sand. Don't break Padme's heart. Order this limited edition collection today. Anakin and Padme's greatest hits is not an actual CD available in any store. If you want to dance with a loved one, slither up and watch the break-offs. Oh my gosh! Please to welcome That's actor, funny. writer, comedian, huge Star Wars fan, Paul Shear. Yes. Very excited to be here to talk some Star Wars. I'm a fan of this show. I don't know if you remember this, you were our first live interview on our live stream yes. when we were at Star Wars Celebration. Oh, that was an amazing I wonder which one that was. I it looks like Anaheim. I did to watch the trailer. <gasps> yes! Yes, I was there! <gasps> I wonder if you pause it, you can see me. Oh, that's so many happy memories. I loved going to that panel. We'd only seen a trailer that didn't have any footage of him. So that was the first time he saw it. And the energy in that room, I could have gone home and never really have seen the movie and felt so full. It's like, yes, we nailed it, we did it. So yeah, we got to see my That was an amazing feeling. It was so exciting. What's happened to that set? Where's that cantina? We've got a falcon now. I know. You see, that's cool. I look, if you have to trade the cantina for a falcon, I guess so. But I feel like I want a whole network that just goes on just casual shows. I want like a bar rescue show there. Uh -huh. I want like a profit show there. I want Marcus Lemonis to come in and, you know, figure out how to make a spaceport more effective. Sure. Like, I think there needs to be more than just this show. And so we have to use it. Okay, somebody with a head for business comes into the cantina and goes, listen, you're throwing a lot of money away by not serving droids here. Do you guys clean these milk knobs? <laughs> you guys not clean these milk knobs. No one's going to drink this blue milk. It's gone blue. I don't know if you guys know this. That's not supposed to it's go not. Well. <laughs> You don't clean the nozzles. Well, hopefully you'll get to go to another one soon. I That's would cool. love to. I would love to go. Yeah. Come to Chicago, man. Oh, Chicago is a great one. The guy should. What do you think is going to be the bigger Take deal? me with what you. I want to go so right? bad. I'll, I'll tell you everything that's going to happen at Celebration okay. right now. <laughs> no! Yeah. Oh my god! That's all going to happen. That is crazy. <laughs> 
I Someone should do a bad lip reading of whatever he said. It's a twist, right? Yeah, so Salacious Crumb is definitely confirmed then. Salacious Crumb is the key to everything. Got it. That'd be great. <laughs> well, Paul, we wanted to present you with something oh, as yeah. our first live stream guest, kind of okay. the guy who helped us kick all of this off. Yeah, I'm very, oh my god. It's still in the plastic. Oh, I love That's it. That's how you know we have a tampered with Whoa, what? Alright, so can I, I'm gonna do <gasps> He got one, one of those! Oh my gosh, this is very exciting. You have the Star Wars show merch now. We're very official. serious. Well, now let me ask you this. <laughs> yeah. Can I come back? for the opening of the Disneyland experience. I want to be there on opening day. I want to be out there on opening day. Like that would be a I dream come true. Day. There's no way I'm getting within 10 miles of the park. You want to do like an old school, wonderful world of Disney, yes. Sunday night prime time. Yes. <laughs> That's I exactly what I want to do. You and R2 yes. and like a couple of pop stars. And me. And I am so excited about this park. <laughs> Just Can you tell you? Please. Did you know that apparently the gift stores are not going to sell like Merchandise that you'd be able to buy in our world, but merchandise that you'd only be able to buy on the planet. That what? is amazing. And then, like, look, I'm all in for. A I want all of it of then. I don't want to know all of it. about any of this stuff. Like, I try to go in pretty open, but I think what I'm really excited about is the experience of the park. When that opens, I want to be your online correspondent mm -hmm. to be one of the first hotel guests, which I understand <gasps> is completely immersive. Yes. You check in, you become a character, the there's hotel. no windows, just space flying by your windows. Could I want to you? live that. In your life. My wife will never let me do that vacation. <laughs> I, need to, I need to get someone to underwrite it. Well, Paul, I'm very excited. Black Monday just started. Yes, brand new show on Showtime. It's Don Cheadle, Regina Hall, Andrew Reynolds, and myself. The first season is all about the stock market crash of 1987. It's kind of like a murder mystery. It's a hard comedy and a drama. And I get to wear a full-on toupee in it, and I dress like a guy who saw Wall Street one too many times. It yeah. is on Showtime right Showtime, now. Showtime, uh, 10 p.m. Sunday nights. Uh, Go check it out, and the pilot is for free right now on YouTube. Excellent, Paul. Thank you so much for coming by, man. Oh, Galaxy of Adventure just got so much cooler. Galaxy's Edge. and eating C3PO's eyes, these rambunctious creatures are a favorite of the sea underworld. Originally from the planet Kowak, Kowaki and monkey lizards are best known for their distinct laugh and playful sense of humor. Oh, they were so annoying in resistance. Brown skin and red fur. However, Kowakians come in a variety. <laughs> Hondo and Akka's Kowakians, Plip Muk Muk had red skin with green fur, while his brother Pip Muk Muk had yellow and blue skin with <laughs> muck, brown muck. and blue fur. While most Kowakians are used as pets, some are trained to help their owners in their shady dealings, and can even handle a blaster on their own. And while Kowakians yeah, that was <laughs> seven years old, their funny. first larger cousin, the Kowakian ape lizard, confronted Poe Dameron and Kaz in Star Wars Resistance. Want to learn more about Kowakian monkey lizards? Like how salacious be from? Oh, wow. It's like an official look. Wikipedia. That's cool. Star Wars show. Last week, we asked you what Star Wars thing you were most excited for in 2019. Awesome Face, along with a bunch of others, said they're looking forward to the Super Star Destroyer coming to the Fantasy Flight's Armada game, while Matthew Neusbauer and the rest of the prequel Defense Force is looking forward to Claudia Gray's Master and Apprentice, as am I. Yes. Garrett is looking forward to taking piloting the Millennium Falcon off his bucket list after a visit to Galaxy's Edge with Sammy Mini cosplay, console cosplay, <gasps> and yes. Marcus Doring looking forward to Star Wars Celebration in Chicago. I saw those oh, tweets. Also, lots of you are excited for Episode 9 of The Mandalorian. Naturally. Naturally. Thanks to everyone who participated, and thanks to you on the other side of the screen for watching this week. And as always, make sure you like the video, Thank subscribe you. to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and remember, only you can prevent forest fires. We're really <laughs> digging deep into that old PSA bag, aren't we? Yeah, I think our writer has a thing for environmentally conscious mascot <laughs> characters. I look forward to taking a bite out of crime next week. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you. So do I. Did somebody say crime? Blooper. Stop it. Anywho. I think I'm slowly deflating. <laughs> Exclusive excerpt from Clock. You never know when you're going to need a bunch All of right. mouth sounds. All right. <laughs> that was a great episode. I loved all of it. It was so fun. Um, so they talked about the Claudia Gray novel, and it is based um, before The Phantom Menace, so that's really, really cool. I've never really been a big, humongous fan of Qui-Gon. He just didn't have as much of a background, I think, as the other characters. Like, you can kind of tell how he stands with the Jedi Council, but we don't really know too much about him. I did read a Terry Brooks novel uh, novelization of The Phantom Menace, 
And that really kind of showed the relationship between Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. And I do think that they could, like, show a lot more of that. So I think it's a great thing that they have this new Claudia Gray novel. Galaxy's Edge, not Galaxy of Adventures. I keep mixing them up. But that is just so crazy that they are going to be selling merchandise that's supposed to be from the system. That is awesome. They're going to be totally immersed, and I love that. That's, like, an experience so unlike any other experience you could ever get anywhere like not even at celebration because they don't pretend you're a character there but star wars celebration is also very very exciting even though i'm not going i want to go so bad but we'll see what happens i also thought it was really cool that they showed that footage from star wars celebration and i am definitely going to have to go back to that footage and see if I can find me and my dad because I was at that panel and it was an awesome panel. It was the only time I ever saw Carrie Fisher in person on that stage. I never actually got to meet her, sadly, but that was the closest experience I had to seeing Carrie Fisher, which, um, yeah, it's really awful that I'll never get to meet her in person. Yeah. For now, I'll just keep reacting to the Star Wars show and keep hoping that I will get to go to Galaxy's Edge. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more Star Wars fun, retweet this video for your chance to get a shout out next week in my next Star Wars show reaction video. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you!